All right, let's get this uh, rolling here. Hi, how are you? You just hi. Anyway, welcome to the channel, the stuff like that. So this is mainly for teachers. Uh, I'm going to put it out as public so anybody watching it can can get an idea of what's going on. If someone would like to do Nihongo uh, Jimaku, eto hai dozo onegaishimasu kero, moshi shiranai no bae de ano yarenakute mo daijoubu yo. Okay. Anyway. Uh, anyway, uh, so this is my setup for how I work with stuff. I've adjusted my monitors and stuff a little bit. So there's always a little bit of evolution going on, a little change uh, here and there for everything. But let me show you um, why I'm doing it this way. I can um, add music to the background, which I usually do for classes, but I'm not going to do it here uh, just because. The music that I use is copyright free or copyright safe, um, permission from the people who make it and stuff like that. So uh, it's worthwhile and you can put it in the background so that it's not terribly obtrusive. When I start classes, I usually start them early and I start with this screen about 10 minutes before. So that way students can come into the classroom and they see a countdown for when uh, the class is actually going to go ahead and start. Um, so once class begins, I roll back here so everybody can see me and stuff like that. So we can talk about whatever. And then I have, this is all through OBS going into Zoom. So I have the Zoom chat and stuff that I can refer to and stuff like that. Um, so, but the nice thing about this system is I have a lot of control over what uh, students see and uh, how I can share things with them. So let me do this. I'm going to start with the iPad because that way, uh, if it goes to sleep, it won't matter. So this is in Keynote. I have the iPad right here. You can see it matches what's on the screen over, nope, over there, right? And then you can do the transitions and stuff like that as it goes through. This was an assignment about taking pictures about learning and names and phobias and that, 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 that. So it tied in with the classroom. But you can also use this to uh, talk about, and some of my other videos, uh, I've done this for the writing class, go into Microsoft Word and, not now, uh, and go through the setup for how to lay out the, the uh, information. And if I use my pencil, um, I uh, this one doesn't do it as well. It's better in Keynote, but I can. Oh, I got to sign in. This one isn't it's still not signed in. At some point I sign in and you can use it to type and stuff like that. Uh, if I go into pages. No, 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 no. Let's go create a document. Uh, if I go into pages, I can use this as a way. Hi to uh, help students with the setup on the whole thing and for going through a how to type and stuff like that. And it shows everybody what exactly is going on. So you can use this for writing class on how to set up the documents and, and go into more detail. If you have things like uh, mind maps and stuff like that, uh, it can be very useful. So there's all this stuff that anything you can do on the iPad will show up on the screen and it can be very, very useful. Um, that's the one that I use most often, but I also have access to, um, VLC. So if there's a video that I want to show to students, it would come up here. I don't have anything set up and I don't want to throw any copyright material up here so that people can see that. Uh, but VLC would let me, if I made a video, uh, I could talk through the video over in the big black, black spot over there. Uh, I should put a background on it. Uh, but I can talk through and watch the video with the students at the same time. So they see me watching the video too, which draws their attention to the video and stuff like that. So I also have access to uh, browser screens. So I can show a website and what's happening on the website. And this one is nice, a nice little website about the design cycle. And it works with the uh, materials development too. Um, so the browser screen's nice. Uh, when they're doing exercises, I can give them a countdown timer on that as well. And a little motion in the background with the background stuff. Uh, I have the same thing set up just for reading time and things like that. And then at the end of class, 
to wrap everything up uh while everybody's getting down i still need to adjust how where i'm at in this it's not perfect um but it gives me a chance to wind up the class and give students a last minute option to ask any questions and stuff and i can still adapt, uh, address those questions and they can still see me so uh, that's pretty convenient and then once class is completely over then basically i just shut it down um uh no i need i haven't put, set that one up yet but anyway so if uh that's how my particular system sets up i have the microphone here i have uh audio controls over there and then i have this keyboard that lets me change the scene to all of these other things and if i really want to do just focus on me um oh good masks see masks are very important and so is usb devices so uh there's all of this stuff i can do right inside uh obs so OBS is this system that lets me put this cool background stuff on the screen and lets me change in between all of this stuff. It gives the students more to look at and everything else. So uh, I know I spoke really fast, so I apologize about that. Uh, but and after a while, the, the scene transition, I probably need to uh, adjust how that works. But anyway uh so if you are interested in learning how to do this kind of stuff or uh, ways to present your material a little bit more uh uniquely or in a different way from what you're used to doing um this is a good time to start over you know go back and look at uh how you used to teach at the very beginning of your career and once you're fresh out of school and started getting in the classroom and uh, find some new things to do and new ways to do it. So, um, all right. So I'm gonna add some links in the bottom for how I put some of this stuff together. It'll be added over time, uh, maybe this week, but probably not. We'll see, I don't know. I still have to do some videos about putting uh, papers together and stuff like that. So I'm still doing class prep for this semester. Uh, and, but I will put links down in here and playlists over in probably that corner, that corner down there, um, for things that I'm doing and how to do this similar stuff, uh, for your classes. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me, um, and stuff like that. So thank you very much. Y'all have a great day. And I'm going to wrap this up. And I will talk to you later.